Hello everybody, welcome to Let's Play Phoenix Point Year 1 Edition. My name is Demonius. Last episode of my playthrough, we uh, defended the uh, Tobias West Fortress over here. And we killed enough time that uh, some research got completed. And over here we have a tactical strike on the Panamera Forest. Basically we're planting a beacon there, so that Tobias uh, West can nuke uh, the, the Pandora Palace from orbit. I'm not entirely sure, but I think this is a uh, a uh, mission to end the campaign, and in this case, it is for New Jericho. And I think that's kind of funny, because considering at the start of the campaign, I voiced my uh, my, my great love for the uh, many many explosives and uh, very subtle tactics that uh, Tobias West. Uh, I guess we completed all of their has given up any research. Of ethics in its research. This is deeply disappointing. Actually, that was me in this case. At this point, what's the difference between New Oof. Jericho and the Oh, Pandora's? people really don't like that one. Holy shit. Well, on the other hand, they're already at war, so who gives a shit? But uh, anyway, yeah. Uh, so between episodes, I have been uh, basically flying uh, Manticore 4 from uh, this base all the way down here. And in the, in the meantime, I've, uh, there were some attacks on, uh, on havens happening, and they, during one of those havens we were fighting a Scylla, and unfortunately that cost two of our soldiers their, their lives, as they were, well, not specifically by the Scylla, but they were bombarded by a plasma chiron, well, I say plasma, but mortar uh, chiron, and I say plasma because it's had like a blue, bluish effect to its attack, so I assumed it's some sort of bioplasma. Now I'll quickly do this mission in the meantime, considering that gives you a little bit more SPs to work, to work with, and I want our, uh, uh, for our uh, overall pool, and I want to, to give my, uh, the people going in the best stats possible, so I'll be right back. So, we kind of asked uh, the local Scylla to leave. Uh, which she did <laughs> before we got the killer, unfortunately. But she only had like a thousand uh, health left, so uh, yeah, if she would have stayed, she would have died. Uh, I'm not quite sure why. Oh, wait, I do recall why I sent you here. Because that. Uh... Wait a minute. Yeah, mid square 5. Uh, let's send him over to Phoenix Delta and send that. Uh, Let's screw this guy and send him to Phoenix Delta. So that's one of the soldiers that we lost. So Phoenix Delta. There we go. They can pick up their, uh, their crew member there. Alright, let's... Shut up. Let's wait for the Tiamat to get here. Because we want to take one... For fuck's sake, one person along... That is uh, in the, the Tiamat. Most notably the, uh, the priest. But I'm quickly going to spend uh, all available SPs that I have, and I'll be right back. Alright, so for this final mission, assuming we can take 8 people, obviously, we're taking Cyber, which I've uh, loaded to the brim with, uh, with ammo and, uh, and gear, and that's actually a recurring thing for everybody else as well. Uh, let's see. So, uh, yeah. Uh, for those I have actually held on to his encumbrance, so we actually don't need to do that. Let's see. What we could do is uh, take a few spare, a few retune missiles with us. Oh wait, we already had two. Never mind. Uh, let's put two entire refills for that. Uh, I think it's maybe a little bit overboard. Let's see. Uh, we've got a clip of grenade ammo. We got a clip of sniper ammo. Er. Uh, Let's give him some of that and a, yeah, no, I, I guess poison grenade. All right, so repair. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> so two clips each for weapons. A Yggdrasil grenade and uh, two Avarovich kits, because uh, she's a healer. And uh, yeah, we haven't really used these things yet. I always felt they were a little bit overkill, but... Considering they heal so much, 
and they also remove all virus bleeding and poison damage so here maybe this is a good time to take them so demo I've given a few stim packs iconoclast ammo and east is how the hell do you pronounce this e gradasil uh, whatever <laughs> sorry who's ever country I'm I'm butchering the pronunciation of that word but I, I really can't pronounce it uh, I've loaded up everybody. Uh, unfortunately, this one was a late edition, so its scare capacity is not that great. And I, uh, we have given him a second class. Uh, so scout, yeah, ammo for his weapons. Uh, one of uh, the sonic grenades, a fire grenade, stim pack, two med kits. He's not a healer, but you know what? He has a lot of scare capacity, so it's a waste uh, not to use it. Ranger. A scorcher, auto turret, air weapons, and plenty of ammo, two fire fish kit, and a med kit. And uh, no, I'm almost forgetting one that's Tater. We have also uh, filled up her inventory. I think she's the only one who really needs these stim packs, considering she can provide it to the rest of the party, but not herself. So she's the only, she's really the only one who can benefit from these. And uh, yeah, I filled up the, the rest of the uh, care capacity, and I just realized we haven't really. Wait a minute. Uh, apparently, you can't install uh, mounts with this uh, admin dish. Alright, so let's start the mission. We've been dallying around long enough. So. Let's see, we're taking the entirety of Manticore 4. Oh, we, we got nine people even. Oh. So we're taking Tater and we're taking... Uh, what are you? Cyber? Let's actually take a look and see who else we want to do to bring along. Uh, I, I do like Empress, to be honest. But I'm not entirely sure... If Maybe it's a better idea to take Killjoy, considering... Uh, Oh, 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 this will not do, this will not do, yes. Far too much empty space in his inventory. Let's fix that. Uh, let's see, what else do we want to give him? Uh, he doesn't actually have a handgun. Maybe we want to give him one, considering uh, if, it, if one of his arms gets uh, disabled, then he's pretty much useless to us. So that won't do, that won't do. So something like this to really uh, ab abuse that sneak attack uh, damage. Yep, yeah. that's good to me. Let's go. Why is there random gear on the ground? I don't trust this. Uh, let's first start with Frenzy. Why don't you give Frenzy to yourself? There we go. And it's already moved the next uh, stim pack over. Holy crap. So this is a dead end. So the only way to go is here. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I suspect there's something over there. So let's dash a little bit. Let's see if we can't get line of sight on anything. Wait, what's that? Whoa, whoa, what the hell was that? Oh, there's a, like an entire chasm around here. Yagovian receptacle. 9,600 hit points. Holy bloody hell. Asset. Explosive and fire resistance. Okay, ability. Mark of the void. Apply a mark on the enemy which damages the enemies within 5,000 at the start of each turn. Oh, that is a nasty uh, ability. Oh, wait, how many eyes does this thing have? 
Okay, so I'm just gonna wager a guess, but I think we're supposed to disable pretty much all of its eyes and tentacles and stuff, so that it just bleeds to death, considering it's uh, immune, or at the very least resistant to a whole lot of damages. But, uh, yeah. That said, do we want to put on an overwatch? Uh, honestly, he's not the most damaging of, uh, of characters, so maybe it's a bad idea just to move up a little bit. Nope. And what do we got here? We got our first Arc Arfron. And another Arfron. And a Chiron. And a Siren and a Arfron, I guess. And a Chiron. And a Scylla. And another Scylla. And a Siren. Yeah, okay. They, uh, yeah. Alright, let's see. What is the perception on these things? 35, okay. So, he is fine, but I prefer if we actually pull him back a little bit further. And not a siren. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna need a whole lot of ammo to kill all of that. <laughs> Let's take a look and see what's on the floor over here. Beacon. Oh, right, yeah, that's that's kind of important that we take that along with us. Yeah, nothing has taken its turn yet, so I think it's fairly safe to say that... Fuck, that alerted them. Okay. Okay. Uh... Let's spread out turrets. And how do we want to shred its armor? Incidentally. Could do is move them over there, do an armor break and fire the Iconoclast at it, but that's not going to remove all of its armor. Oh, ooh, ooh, I know, I know. Armor break together with the four. That is going to, that is going to strip some armor. Yeah, good idea. Let's start with that. Here comes the Phoenix. Before we open up though, I want to trigger a sniper ability. We're going to mark you for death. There we go. Then we're gonna say armor break. Executed. And let's strip some of that armor, shall we? <laughs> well, there goes 240 of its armor. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, we can't fire the Iconoclast with another armor break. That would be hilarious, but. Uh, no? Okay. L let's see how much armor it's... Uh, oh, bloody hell, that's a lot. Okay, yeah, that, that rear, rear portion of it, it's pretty much still completely uh, armored. Uh, don't we have... a sniper? With armor break with us? Alright, let's put you over there and stand by. Let's see if we can't work riot if we stand close enough to the wall. Yes, yes, we can. <laughs> okay, that's hilarious. Alright, let's move you over there. Okay, uh. see a lot of targets but not the one I want to fire at with you. Uh, you could see it but it still has way too much armor for my liking. Uh, let us see. We could fire more fear missiles at it. Uh, no, no, no we can't because it's out of range. Let's take a look how much 
Okay, the spawning atom no longer has any armor. So, so, so long as we're aiming for that, we should be able to do maximum damage to it. Oh, here it goes. Okay. How do your shots look at the spawning abdomen? So, Overwatch, uh... Yeah, what do you want to do with the demo? I mean, we could, we could fire another Viter Grenade at it, but... I don't think it's gonna do all that much. Unless we do another... Yeah, if I could let's do another bar. <laughs> Why not? Execute. Poof. Alright. Um, uh, I prefer to have him over here, but let's move him over there first. I wonder, can you cast Frenzy on the spider drones? <laughs> I never actually considered that. But if these figs could move even farther, they would be very very insane. Let's try it. Uh, let's see. Well, why don't you... Oh crap, you can't see the... Uh... Oh wait, you can't see its legs. There we go, some 80 bleeding damage from that. Okay, your shots from this angle are pretty terrible. But we got another turret that we want to... Uh, oh, I was targeting your arms. There we go. Well, where do we want to put this? I would go for like something like that spot, but we... Let's move a little bit. Say hello to my little friend. There we Let's go. Move. Let's pull him back. Uh, uh, depending on what it, whatever or not we can uh, hit the spots that we are aiming for, I think we're gonna do more damage with the uh, the Gorgon, especially considering we have that damage boost from uh, self defense specialist. All right, let's off put on Overwatch with you. Uh, let's skip a view. Alright, how much damage did we do? Well, not enough, and now all of them are. Oh boy. Good. Demo was not having a, a direct fire weapon in his hand, so he didn't return fire. I forgot to swoop him back from his fighter. Well, I think we're good. Yeah, I knew it. There are some tritons back there. We just didn't see any of them. Chiron moving in. Oh boy. Let me guess, worms. Oh. Yeah, or... I, I thought I only saw goo uh, carons, but they were way in the back, so that makes sense. Ah. Not a lot of those hit. But I think we can blow them up with a single spider drone. So that's good. 
So unfortunately, they're not standing next together, but the Jews can step out and hit that one with his... Uh, no, wait. At the very least, I want to do war cry with him. I, I don't know if he can see him uh, without spending one action to move to the side a little bit first, so... Yeah. Okay, we're gonna have to see. Okay, and what is this gonna be? More goo. Well, it's a good thing we got these uh, goo repellers. <laughs> so I guess I got a chance. Oh boy, all of, all of that is now frenzied. That said, if they're all standing next together, which ah, uh, no, Avenger is spl splitting up. They would have been a very nice uh, AOE target for uh, grenade launchers and stuff like that. Oh, they got a pretty much a army standing between uh, us and that final objective. So uh, yeah, kind of what I was expecting, but still, this is a lot. More frenzy, okay. Where is the school repeller? There. Okay, I know Demo has it, but... Uh, let us see here. Okay, how the hell does the school repeller work? We have to go. Go! Oh, so you can just move through it. Then why is in? The, oh, I see why he's trying to move around. Spider drones are blocking him. Yeah, the spider drones, unfortunately, are not immune to the go. Hmm. All right. Let us see. I think we're gonna have to do a demo is dash up and kill these chirons. And I wanna do that all with demo by using rapid clearance. So let us see here. I do think we're gonna have to move demo uh, afterwards though. So let's work out these assholes. Let's go for a rapid clearance. Uh, let's start clearing some enemies, shall we? Where are all these? Ah, there you are. So that's a one. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if that's gonna kill actually, so let's fire at, uh, fire at this one first. Because that one was pretty much guaranteed. Alright, this is gonna be too much armor. Over there though. Alright, so let's clear the field a little bit. Let's do another armor breaker for uh, four missile. However, we are gonna let's first see what we can hit, what we can simultaneously hit. I like this. There we go. And I was he's completely out of four, uh, four missiles, and uh, yeah, lady suckers, we're out of here. 
<laughs> Wait, why does he still have two action points? I mean, I'm not gonna complain, but... Uh, fuck it. Let's go on Overwatch. Alright. So, all our spider drones are good and they can't move. That is, uh... Yeah, that is apparently a thing. And nobody is uh, frenzied anymore, so... Plus, you can still frenzy. Uh, is this poison more gonna be an issue? I don't think so. However, we are gonna wa want to move. Alright, what can we still hit with our redeemer? Uh, you know what? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Fire out that mess. Why don't we get rid of the Scyllas with our turrets? Um, the second turret should be able to kill the first Scylla. That is, if we could hit the spawning atom reliably, which we don't seem to be able to do. Hmm. Is that enough to kill it? No. It's gonna have 60 health left. Oh, if that's the case. I think we're gonna have to... Oh, wait a minute. Maybe it's a good idea to do electronic reinforcements. So if we get hit, we at the very least have a, a very big amount of armor to block uh, the incoming damage. All right, so let's kill the Scylla. So naturally, three of the shots go into the bloody stalactite. Ah, fucking hell, one more falling. I want to fire at the Scylla, but it, it keeps jerking around. Oh, for fuck's sake, not again! Just bloody wow. Okay, uh... Here, why don't you get the last shot in? Oh, great, the body's death animation is, bor is borked again. Seems to be happening a lot. Uh, so, question: Do we want to kill these worms, or? Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's kill them. There we go. Because they also provide line of sight. Okay, so the Scylla. That Scylla still has pretty much all of its armor. Uh, we might want to do something about that. Can we reach it with our Fury Missile? No, we can't for some reason. I guess because Dozer doesn't have Bombardier. Demo does have the one. So you can really notice the... the oh, wait, doesn't Boom Blast the... Uh, oh, wait a minute. No, no, wheel points. Okay, in that case, let's recover with you. Uh, you can't see anything from where you are. So what can you spot? You can spot that Chiron, that Chiron, and you can spot the Scylla. Uh, you know, we could start firing at it, but we are just going to strip a few points of armor off. But... Oh right, and, it... and infection damage, I completely forgot about that. It turns out that wasn't such a bad idea. We could remote control and fire again with turret, but the thing still has most of its uh, of its armor left, so I kind of feel that's a waste. What I'd much rather do is put down a few overwatches. Maybe I'll, I'll catch something with it. Or maybe I won't. I don't know. Well, no to a try. Alright, so Reaper. Yeah, let me think here. I want, I want to spread my uh, soldiers out a little bit more. Oh, wait. Let's grab your sniper. Alright, 
Yeah, yeah, we moved to it. Right. So, some more Overwatch. And... You know what? That spot is fine. Let's put down an Overwatch from you as well. Unfortunately, our spider drones can't move because they're good. I thought these modules would allow you to remove it, but uh, that's not the case. Okay. So it's coming straight for us. I don't think we. That one was in Warcry range. Oh boy, Sonic. Yeah, even when it's spread out, it's still bloody hit four of my soldiers. Okay, more mind trackers, great. Okay, it fucking sucks that these soldiers are all now uh, dazed. At the very least, all the Tritons are hanging out in the back, so they're not actually hitting anything. Yeah, unfortunately we have this asshole over there as well. So, water worms around the way. Kinda hard to stay invisible this way, man. Why you gotta rain on our parade? Uh. Yay, some more goo. Oh, oh, that was nice. It was a turn fire from Scout. And and apparently he is stealth, because that damage is not what what you normally do with uh, with a diamond oh, blood, oh bloody hell, here we go. Kindly not. Hmm. Ah! Motherfuckers. But apparently, this spot is a very bad one considering they got a. seem to have good line of sight towards. I think they're over here actually. But also explain why they're not shooting at anybody else. Yeah. Okay. So let's start here. Uh, I, mm, yeah, top one. Alright. First things first, before I forget, fourth ride. There we go. Okay. And you whack that little piece of shit. There we go. Uh, let's see, armor values. Still has way too much. Demo's running out of uh, will points, which is kind of a problem. We can do an another armor break and then we are uh, shut up. Uh, we were out of missiles, right? Yeah. We are. Alright. Well. Yeah. Let's actually move back a little bit. So we have a better angle for that grenade. Floomp. And this thing is by itself already a shred 10 armor, so that's fine. I don't think we need to save grenades and stuff like that for the final boss, considering that's uh, resistant to that type of damage anyway. Uh, yeah, okay, I think we're done with demo. Alright, let's see here. How do the armor values look? Okay, we have a few legs which are unarmored now. The spawning admin has no armor. And uh, that. That is one of the easiest uh, targets on this thing, so let's rip of our turrets on the spawning abdomen. 
Okay, that's one. That's two, and we have one over here. And that is three. Alright, I think Hieldroy here can disable the spawning abdomen with two uh, stealth shots. In fact, he only needed a single stealth shot for that. Okay. Your abilities all require a high amount of will, so let's recover a little bit with you. Uh, his accuracy is going to be kind of wonky considering he's dazed, but let's see if we can't hit that uh, mind trigger. At the very least, we could hit the Scylla. <laughs> wow. The thing is so huge. It even when you are dazed, you can still hit it easily. Okay, um... That's first. Okay, let's move you behind this rock. So they... Those triton assholes can't fire at you anymore. Uh, dozer. Let's move you over there. For the same reason, so you don't get your face blown off by those tritons. Alright, and now we're gonna... Take out that Scylla. Mm -hmm. And one more. Okay, I don't know where I hit it, but I think it in its uh, carapace instead of its spawning abdomen. Okay, so and f for this one, the death animation would, you know, work just fine. I I don't know what causes it to, uh, wait a minute, why can't you, oh, you're out of ammo, so that's why you can't go on Overwatch. Yeah, that makes sense, actually. Uh, your Gorgon got destroyed, so you can't use that. I think it's just a spider drone. Oh, no, no, wait, wait. Alright. Set up, sorry. I would have liked some Overwatches so we could catch that, uh, what's it called, uh, Mind fragger, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. Okay, that one ended. Right. Oh, probably because it was war tried. It's honestly the only reason I, I can think of why. Oh shit! It can still see us. Right, the human takes a turn before it, uh, before we get stealth back up. Well, I hope they miss off the rest of their attacks as well. Oh, for fuck's sake. And there come more. I think they flew off the map, actually. Considering uh, there is no worms here. And... Alright. The mind frag is just gonna be annoying. I would have preferred actually if it mind frag does, so we could just walk in demo and bash that uh, mind frag off the set. Now it's in a spot where it's quite honestly a massive nuisance. Oh, and apparently there's still an Arfron back here, but uh, he seems to be in a somewhat bad shape. <laughs> that sounds like a you problem, my friend. Oi! Alright, so let's first start here by healing Reaper. There we go. Uh, that did take up. Yeah, yeah. So in that case, let's ready up uh, the next Firefish kit and. Um, Alright, we can actually still take a shot with you. So let's do a quick aim. I think uh, next turn we're gonna have to. Oh no, wait, you still have 11 uh, wheel points left. 
Uh, I was going to fire at the siren, but for some reason we can't see her, so fire at the Karens then. Let's see, is Scout actually stealthed? He doesn't seem to be. Not sure why. Does she have a... no. Okay, this is weird, because uh, there is nothing nearby, realistically, or at the very least, there's nothing that we can see nearby that would explain why uh, he is no longer concealed. Yeah, let's fire at that Chiron. <coughs> let's fire at this one at the Chiron as well. Did I actually hit a different garment than the one I was firing at? <laughs> That's kind of hilarious. Alright, let's see. Uh, did we work right with you already? I don't think we did. So there we go. Uh, yeah. How does your shot at her head look like? Not that great, but we got a destiny laser. But what we can do is we can mind control. We can disable her head, then mind control her with the priest. And then we got another Michio. Well, th th there is a drawback behind this, because if she dies while well, 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 we are mind control working her, she does count as one of our party. So, uh, mind control did not have a great range. I think 10 tiles. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Ah! We're over there, we should be able to. Should be able to make it. If we still had enough action points, that is. Ah, oh, she's just out of out of range. So how, how the bloody hell does that work? Is she panicking? Oh, she's frenzy. So she's immune to panic. Uh, yeah, okay. What we can do is move Tater over here, considering uh, they can't fire through this wall, I wager. So uh, you should be safe here. Know what this you just move back again. Otherwise, we're making things very easy for that uh, mind fragger. Okay, you have to reload. Oh, we see a. Yeah, that explains why the. Why scout is revealed. Let me guess. Yeah, pink chameleon. Shit. So, if we fire at him. Our first shot is gonna have to disable his torso, otherwise he's uh, just gonna stealth up. So, uh, let's see here. Disable torso, very good. So if we put another shot into him, that should hopefully kill him. Which you can do, because <laughs> you have to reload. Right. Okay, we'll just fire some shots with the Gorgon instead then. Hmm. Scout, maybe you can finish him? No, because you can't even see him, because I don't know reasons. Uh, okay, from there we, we you can't spawn him, but I can't see how many actions this is going to be. It could be that this is one move, or it could be that it's multiple. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I think this is one move, but... Doesn't really matter all that much, to be honest. So, let's fire at... No. Oh, could actually also fire at him. No, but I want to fire at him. Okay, he should die from bleeding damage now. Yep, right, so he's dead. Okay, that did take one action, so we can just dash right back. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe. We want to get, want to move up on the flank. Except that maybe not a bad idea, because I think the, the the other Triton snipers are over here. So, uh, yeah. Let's move you over there. Overwatch with you. 
I think we, we're just gonna kill the, the siren if you have. Perfect. And we can even do a pistol overwatch. Oh, man. The Nightman team is pretty badass. I love it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that one's gonna die. Let's see if we can do electronic reinforcements again. So if any of these uh, people get hit by anything, they will have more armor. Which I quite like, because some of these things are quite squishy, and one of our turrets, for example, already got shot at. So. Uh, let's put on Overwatch. And... Overwatch. Alright, because you we have a sniper. Oh, that Chiron isn't dead yet. And we can we can see fuck all of that. Hold on, where is he? Acquiring target. That was quite a nice shot actually. Yeah, all the drones are stuck. <coughs> wow. This mission takes quite a long time, actually, considering how many bloody army enemies there are on the map. Okay, I don't know what he's doing. Is he, is he trying to leave because he's out of ammo? Wait, what was that, Pussy? Oh, they're recovering! They're all panicking. That was what was going on. Oh, come on. You have to give these bloody things credit for being so... They, they, they are bloody intelligent with their... Uh, I'm not sure how you would call it, but... They are... Exceedingly annoying to deal with. Why is this not landing on target? You know what, I'm just gonna... Because I'm hitting the carcass of the Scylla. Really? Bloody really. Fuck you then. Alright, that's fine too. It's... Ah, oh, bloody hell, it's gonna have one, one HP left. Uh, you are out of hull points, so recover. You are out of hull points, so recover. Can you, if you sidestep, can you spot that mind tracker? No, but you can spot one of the Scyllas. <laughs> nice. Okay, let's take out this mind tracker with our priest then. I just needed to do one damage, honestly, so that is fine. Oh boy. <sighs> hey! Our spider runs can move again. What I could do is toss a uh, purification grenade on the floor. That should clear the, the goo, but at the other end will also damage them, so yeah, that's not good. Uh, let us see, do you got a good shot? No, you do not have a good shot. And same for that one, actually. Is it that just that far away, or...? Oh, yeah, it is very far away. Okay. okay uh, you are all stuck, and we did everybody else right. Hey, Tritons move again. Probably because they had no one else to spot for them, so they have to do it themselves. Haha, <laughs> sex to be about it. Ah, nice. Okay. 
такая. Oh, it seems we're not completely done yet, considering there, there's still a siren on the field. That might be a mindfragger or that might be that siren that just uh, did frenzy, I don't know. I guess we'll see. Yes, it's Dark Droid again? Alright, very good. Uh, you are no longer stealth, considering uh, these assholes are spotting you. Okay. With that in mind, we have to get closer to kill them anyway. Aha! So we spotted the siren. The, 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 the well, we spotted a siren. One that's over there. Okay. Silent echo, and I'm gonna assume that he has. Uh, if I could just target, yeah, pink million. Uh, what I can do is vanish. So now you do double damage. Yeah, should have done that would happen. I was, uh, I, I hoped I would daze him, but uh, guess not. I don't think we can actually walk around here. No, we can. So let's send the drones in to do a little bit of scouting. Yeah, that is a siren that was over there. Yeah, let's move you as well. Let's see, let's stand by you as well. Uh, let's try to disable this pink chameleon first. Because if we don't, he just sells up again. I think that whiffed completely, so that's a shame. center mass. Yes, torso disabled. So if we now just grab our turrets, we can just hose him down. There we go. There's anything you can see. Well, apparently there's a car somewhere over there. Disabled another one of its legs and I think it's gonna die from bleeding. No, it's gonna have one health left. Bloody hell. Alright, uh, okay, your APs are full. You can do induce panic. On who can you induce panic? On these Chirons. Wait, on the, the Chirons? They're like way up. They are very far away from you. Really? Oh, wow, okay. The insane on range on induce panic is apparently insane. Seems to just need line of sight. Yeah, damn. That is pretty damn good. Alright, instill frenzy. Just sh probably should have done earlier with, with, uh, with Scout, but I kind of forgot, but okay. And where do we want to move you? I want to move up, up over here, but that's kind of dangerous. What we can do is just Use a steam bike on myself. And the recording just stopped, considering I've been going for an hour already. Alright, oh, let, let's see where we can move you. We can, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd say we can move you just fine. Uh, we are kind of running out of people too. Uh, let's see. For some reason. And can you or can you not move through? Okay, he won't move through. Okay, that's weird. And no, uh, man. I've given uh, the entire 
squad in, uh, in Manticore 4, I've given them all the uh, Guru Valor, so why he can't move uh, through it is beyond me. Alright, it's a nice spot actually. Oh wow, apparently we can just move up here and still fire the Gorbin. <laughs> Yeah, I'd say that's uh, kind of insane, yeah. We can use these things for high ground, I guess, but... I prefer to have my people in cover, uh, for at least some form of cover. And there's apparently a camera that they can fire at. Okay. I don't think we've seen that one fire yet. Honestly. Uh, where do we want to have this? Let's use the, the Scylla's body for cover. Um, stand by, stand by, stand by. Right. I just realized I forgot to pick up that one turret. Well, actually I forgot to pick up all of the turrets. Maybe it's not a bad idea to actually pick them up and put them in front of that, uh, what's it called, the Jovian uh, receptacle thingy. Considering that thing does have a lot of health. And if we have to go through all of that, then uh, the turrets might most definitely be a help in that regard. Although that said, are we supposed to just place the beacon or are we supposed to destroy it? So I did notice it had a, had a health pool, but now it says defeat the Yagopians and receptacles. So I do think we're supposed to, do, to kill it. That said, there is, there's people firing a demo, which I do not find very friendly. Excuse me, miss. So we finally get to use our spider drones, only took an hour. <laughs> Alright, see there's a siren over here as well, let's blow that one up. Alright. So we can Bardex Fist or we can use the Iconoclast. Uh, actually, come to think about it, this is his last clip of the Iconoclast, so maybe we want to hold on to a little bit of the uh, of the ammo that's, uh, that he has. I mean, we could just f move up to her and whack her in the face, and then move to safety, so that's what we're going to do. Alright. I think uh, she's dead. No, she's not dead. Okay, she's dead. Uh, that siren is panicked, so that would mean that we can uh, find control her if, if we are uh, in range of her. There we go. Find control, please. Yes, yes. There we go. Oh, and we still have enough movement left to put you in cover. Very nice. I keep forgetting to start by grabbing my uh, turrets. Actually, no, you know what? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna cut this into two episodes because otherwise, this is. This is just won't be watchable in a, in any form or manner. So I want to take this point to thank everybody for tuning in. Next episode, we're going to complete this mission. And I want to yeah, thank everybody for tuning in. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.